St Andrews, it's Miss Bushell speaking here. Welcome to Tuesday morning's assembly. I hope everybody is well and is having a go at their home learning. A new week, new target set, and I hope you're all ready to do really well with them. So, first of all, before we get started, we've got our Welsh phrase of the week. Will any of them? I don't know. So, when you're at home with your families, have a go at using that around your house today. Right, we are going to look at the Holocaust Memorial Day, which is happening on the 27th of January. So not very far away for us. So let's have a look what it's all about. So like we said, it happens on the 27th of January. So what is it? What is the Memorial Day? So each year, on or around the 27th of January, we learn about events that have happened in the past where people were treated badly. This is so that we can learn from them and make sure that they don't happen again. Holocaust Remember Memorial Day is the day that the British government has chosen to remember the terrible crimes committed during these times in different places around the world that you can see on the map there. So what was it? The Nazis, the people in charge of Germany, did not like Jewish people. They encouraged ordinary citizens to make life difficult for Jewish people. Not very nice, is it? Many Jewish people moved away to try and start a new life. The Nazis said that all Jews Jews had to wear a yellow Star of David on their outer clothing so that people knew who was Jewish. The Holocaust was a movement that started with discriminating, so not being very nice, against Jewish people. And sadly, it ended with millions of people being killed because of who they were, which is awful. So what did the Nazis do, the German people? They said that Jewish people could not Sit on benches in parks, go to the swimming pool, own a bike or a radio, go to restaurants or German shops, own a passport so they were not allowed to travel, or vote, attend school or university, go to the cinema, theatre, concerts, exhibitions, beaches and holiday resorts, and many other everyday rights which German people had. That wouldn't be a very nice life, would it, if we were not able to have those luxuries in life? So how do you think you would feel if you weren't allowed to have a bike or a television or a tablet just because of your religion? Have two minutes to discuss that now. Okay, I think it would make you feel very sad, very lonely. Your life wouldn't be very exciting. Not a very nice life to lead. So let's have a chat about Jewish children. Many Jewish parents decided to send their children to England as they thought it would be much safer for them there. A special organisation called Kindergarten Transport, Kinder Transport, helped children to leave Germany and travel to England to make a new home with a new family so that they would be safe in that country. The children would not have been given long to pack their suitcases. Imagine you were told you were going on a journey, but you didn't know where you were going or how long you were going for. Have a think about what type of things you would pack in your suitcase.
Okay, I would pack things. I would make sure that I've got things like clothes to wear. I'd make sure I'd pack my toothbrush, my hairbrush, maybe something I like to play with to keep me entertained. I wonder what type of things you thought of. So kinder transport. Many Jewish children had to say their goodbye to their parents as the special organisation was for children only. So when they were going to the, the new families where it was safe, only the children were able to go, not the mums and dads. They boarded trains with their suitcases and eventually arrived in England. They travelled across Europe and the journey lasted for two whole days. That's a long time on a bus, isn't it? Many children's parents were killed in the Holocaust and they were often taken to start a new life in England without their friends or families. Many often stayed with those families then and didn't return home. It is believed that more than 11 million people died, 6 million of which were Jewish. That is more than the entire population of Scotland. How very sad. The Memorial Day asks for remembrance of all the lives lost and to reflect on how we can stop it from happening again. So we use this day to remember all those people who lost their lives and we think of ways of how we can stop that from ever happening again. So each year, the Memorial Day has a different theme. This year's theme is be the light in the darkness. So what do you think that means? Have one minute to think of that. I think it means that when times get tough, when times get a little bit hard, referring to the darkness, be the light. So be that glimmer of hope that things will get better. So what can we do to be the light? We can spread awareness of unfair things happening. And we can be kind to everyone. If we're kind to everyone, there will be no discrimination no one falling out, and no need for any injustices to happen. So on the 27th of January, just spend two minutes to have a think about what those children and adults went through and how we can prevent it from happening again. So I'm going to play our song our music of the week now to sing us out have a great day everyone